good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my brother and sister of this world. Today I'm going to be bringing a message, and the title of this message is Cheering, Obey Your Father and Mother. Parents, do not provoke your children to anger. I repeat, children obey your father and your mother. Parents, do not provoke your children to anger. Hallelujah. And the scripture reading is going to be coming from the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 to 4. And I read, children, obey your parents in the law. Because they is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may have a long life in the land. Father, do not stir up anger in your children, but bring them up in the training and instruction of the law. Hallelujah. Today, we're going to be talking on children and their parents. Hallelujah. So God is telling us today that we should honor our parents. And our parents should not provoke us to anger. So this topic or this lesson right now is very interesting. Let us go into the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 20. And I read, Children, obey. Children, let me repeat. Children, be obedient to your parents in all things, for this is well pleasing to the law. Children, be obedient to your parents in all things, for this is well pleasing to the law. You see, today when you try to discipline or try to bring up the children, in a good man, in a good way that God is going to be pleased. The country that we're in right now, or the country that I'm in right now, America, oh my goodness, children have the right. They have children, or uh, children, or uh, child protective services when. They, uh, they have the neighbors around. They go into, they, if they hear the children screaming or whatsoever, they're going to call. Or they're going to let the child, the children, or uh, protect the services to interfere and come knock into your door. You can't discipline your own children. You can't, you can't do nothing for your children to grow up in a way that God is going to be pleased. You can't discipline them. Oh my goodness. You see it? You see the world that we live in right now? Long time ago in America. Yeah. It was a, it, they, they call it the old school. Uh, if I pass it and I see your, your kids doing something, you know, misbehaving, I have the right to, you know, discipline that child. And everybody will live in harmony. Everybody will, you know, have love for one another. But right now, you can't try it. The children right now in America, they are loose, disobedient, rude. So the last time what I did, I took my children to the cemetery. I said, you see the, the, you see the, the, all the tombs here in the cemetery? You see the graveyard? You see right there? You see all the... They are uh, they 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 uh, they all a grave. They all a grave. They all a grave. Most of them are young children. Most of them are young children. 
They disobeyed the parent. They never listened to the parent until now they are in the grave. When the parent turned in this, oh, you don't have right over me. You don't have right over me. I'm going to call the, you know, the, the children protective services. Few months later, they found themselves dead. They are in the grave. The grave is dominated by kids, disobedient kids. They forget to know what the Bible said that if you obey your father and your mother, your day will be long in the land that you live. <laughs> if you obey your father and your mother, your day will be long in the land that you live. Instead, they are disobedient. They are rude. They are unbecoming. They have that ugly, outrageous attitude. Oh my goodness. Let me read the next scripture. Colossians chapter 3 again, verses 21. The first one I read was Colossians chapter 3, verse 20. And it says that children be obedient to your parents in all things. For they is well pleasing to the law. That was the one we just finished with. The next one going to be Colossians chapter 3 verse 21. And I read. Father. Do not be. Too harsh. On your children. So that they will not. Lose heart. Hallelujah. Do not be too harsh on your children so that they will not lose heart. So today, when the Bible is saying right now, do not be too harsh or do not, you know, irritate or frustrate the children, the Bible is saying that you can discipline them. But not to extend that, you know, your discipline going to go above. God love for the parents to discipline the children. But not to extend that it going to go above, you know. Oh my God. If you, I was taking a family somewhere, a mother and her child. And my goodness. I started playing some gospel music and that gospel music was I was enjoying it. So later on, I tried to lower the gospel music down. When I lower it down, that little girl from the back of the car, she was just, oh my God, if you see that little girl screaming, you're going to say, my goodness. And she was just doing it intentionally. And I said, it was getting on me until I was so quiet. I said, Jesus, can you please take complete control of the situation? The only thing we get her mouth saying, let's go home. We are going reach home. We, we will soon be home. Continue. You see? The Bible said, train up the child in the way when the child get old, he or she will not depart from him. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Train up the child in the way when the child get old, he or she will not depart from it. That when the child leaves the home, wherever the child will that child is going to be disciplined. I don't want to boast of my children, but check them out. Wherever you may be, ask my children. I don't want to boast of that. I thank God for that. I tell you, that little child flipped in that car until I was almost getting frustrated. I said, God, can you please take complete control of this situation? The reason I'm saying this, if you do not train up your child in the rightful way, if that child go up there and misbehave, God is going to hold you responsible. Do not mind John Brown or whatever situation we're in right now or don't discipline the children. No, discipline the children, but do not go above. 
and do things ridiculous that you're going to regret it. That's why the Bible is saying, do not be too harsh. Do not do things that tomorrow you're going to say, oh, that you, you're going to regret it. That's why the Bible said, don't be too harsh. But the Bible is not saying that you may not discipline your children. You can discipline them. Because the children today, if you go check to the cemetery right now, my charity on the, 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 the tomb in the cemetery there, I saw some young children. They died because of disobedience. They forget to know the Bible said that respect your father and your mother so your day may be long in the land that you live. They don't want to obey. They don't want to be dis they don't want to be obedient. They want to be disobedient. They want to do their own thing. No, you can't do your own thing while you live here on your father and your mother's supervision. You got to obey them. You got to honor them. Whatever they take to do, that is the final. If you disobey, you're going to find yourself in the cemetery. Don't be disobedient. Hallelujah. And let me go to Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Honor your father and your, your mother that your day may be long or prolonged in the land which the Lord your God gave you. Then Matthew 19, 19. Honor your father and your mother. You see? So many scriptures to support it. Colossians, Ephesians, and Exodus, Matthew. All talk about children should obey their parents. So that they may be law in the land that they live. You don't want to obey your parents? Your day will not be long in the land that you live. If you want to be disobedient, you want to go ahead and be drinking, smoking, and, and you know, you, you go to the stage of selling drugs and doing things out of the way, and your parents trying to you know, guard and protect you and telling you that don't do this, and you want to say, oh, I have the right to do this. You have the right? Okay, you're going to have the right in the cemetery. That way your right going to be. Because if you disobey your parents, that way you're going to find yourself. Any child who is obedient, you're going to see that light shining on that child. You're going to see it. Because the Bible said, let your light shine before all men when they see your good way. They're going to glorify your Father who is in heaven. Then one of the most ridiculous part of this particular scenario right now is, so now their father is a, a, a pastor, then his son there selling drugs. His son there, is, he, he is a womanizer. From the other girl to the other girl, from the other girl to the other Then they, they bring it together. As soon as the father and the mother want to talk, and you see them, you see them talking back to the parents. You talking back to your parents? As long as you utter a word to talk back to your parents, you disobedient. That disobedient is the sound of witchcraft. Witchcraft, it doesn't mean that so when the mama musu you should go to. No, when you disobey, it's the sound of witchcraft. Hallelujah. My brother and my sister, let me tell you right now. Do not spare the rod to discipline your child. Do not relent in continue talking to them until they can make a change. Do not give up. Do not give up. Continue talking. Continue talking until one day they're going to change. And the greatest of all, in everything that you do, give your supplication to God with a thanksgiving. Give them to God. Say, God, I give the children to you. You're the only one who can take care. And God will make everything to go through perfectly. At the appointed time. God is the one who's going to change them. Continue to pray for them. And God will change them. Discipline and prayers. And God will help you. May God bless this message. And may God bless you all. And I will come back again. Let us pray. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior.